Today we'll be making pipe cleaner ninjas. Now, in your kit you will receive three pipe cleaners, a be big bead, some small pieces of straw, and 15 pony beads. Now, to get started, what we're going to do is we're first going to take our three pipe cleaners and we're going to line them up together and we are going to do a twist in the middle, two twists, so they stay together, two twists. And as you can see, we now have all three twisted together. Now, our second step is we're going to move one of them up so that you have four ends on one side of the twist and two ends on the other side of the twist. Just like that. Great. Now put that to the side. Now this big bead is going to be your ninja's head. So I'm going to put eyes on mine with a Sharpie. I'll make a big eye and a big eye and then I'm going to make a square around it so it looks like it's peeking out of a ninja mask. There we go. Now, we're going to take the bead and we are going to thread two of the pipe cleaners through it. All right? And as you can see already, it looks like a very kind of funky ninja with two legs, two arms, and then a very extended ponytail up here. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to take some of our pony beads. These are the smaller beads. And we are going to push the legs together and we are going to thread together three pony beads. You could also use an extra one if you want him to have an extra long body. And this is going to be the body of our ninja. So as you can see, there's the head, there is the body. Great. Now. When you get your straws, they are going to be rough cut. That means that you have to trim them down to one inch. And you'll just measure one inch and then you'll trim off the excess. Or if it's already short enough, it's perfect. But we're going to take our tube and we're going to do an arm first. So as you can see, it's right here on the arm of the Ninja. Now, just like your arm bends, we're gonna put a joint in there and we're gonna use the pony bead for that. So it's going to be an arm segment, and then a pony bead, and then another arm segment. And as you can see, there we go. Bicep, elbow, forearm. Okay, now we're gonna do it on the other side. So we're gonna take more straw, and then we'll take another pony bead and another straw. Perfect. Now, as you can see, we have two arms already ready. Now, we're gonna go down and we're gonna do the legs. So we're going to take this one, we're going to put a pony bead first. That's going to be our hip right there. And then we're going to take another piece of straw, put it on, followed by another pony bead that's going to be your knee, followed by one more piece of straw. Boom, one leg done. Now we're gonna do it on the other side. Take a pony bead, then a piece of straw, and then a pony bead, and then an extra straw. All right, as you can see now, we have the arms and legs formed. Now we are going to form the hands. Now for this we are going to form big loops. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a bend right there at the arm and then we will tuck the excess into that straw so it makes kind of a circle hand. All right and if you want you can Get creative and put a bend in so it looks like you have a thumb. Now we're going to do it on the other side. We're going to bend the hand. 
Tuck in the extra back into the arm. Just like that. And then you can make a th thummy hand. Like I like thumbs, so I'm gonna do that. I think that's cool. All right, so right there, we have two hands. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the feet. The feet are a little different because you wanna leave them as wide as you can so it has something to stand on. You can tuck in the extra if you like, but I like to give my ninjas a big wide base, big wide feet like that. All right, so we'll do the same thing here. You tuck a little bit of extra in the, into the straw. All right, now you can see it has two feet and two hands. Now, the final part is we notice we have this big wobbly part up here. I like to give my ninja a little bit of a cool hat feature like that. So we're going to tighten it up. We'll give it a couple twists. Bend it back so it doesn't fall off like that. And then we're just going to take a pair of scissors and cut through the excess. And there you go. There is your pipe cleaner ninja. And you can bend him and you can shape him. You can have him hang from the rafters or hide him around the house. You can make weapons for them. The greatest part is they're fully bendable, fully posable, and you can be creative with it. You will be given more materials than you need to create one. You will have enough to create two or one giant one. So I'm really excited to see what you do and all the creative ninjas that you uh, come up with and all the interesting places that you hide them. Thank you again for watching. And this has been Programming at Home, uh, Pipe Cleaner Ninjas with Mr. John. Thanks, everybody. Bye.